friends in this video i am going to do a small type of uh, work that is uh, terrain creation in the open roads designer and uh, at a time civil civil 3d also with the same data so we will do there some small comparison how the procedure is going to okay deal in uh, open roads and uh, civil 3d okay so let's start i have a notepad file okay same file i'm going to use so in open roads you have to go to terrain if you have a notepad csv data go to ascii file okay done now before going to import you need to create some setting file okay how to do that i'll just prepare some feature definition it will be existing boundary okay click here here is decimal separator is point only so point then next these are spots okay i'm going to use spots column denominator sir comma okay so and one more thing you have to do this is uh, you can skip it no it's because there is no if it is a serial number uh, that must be there but not available so skip it now listing north and then elevation these are uh, what to say you can say not offset there is no information so skip it next next finish so just save settings settings for import if you have multiple notepads or excel files so these settings will be useful no need to do again and again okay then select here just import it okay complete it just have a look Okay, this is the terrain display the triangles okay. rotate it okay now let's have a look over the civil 3d part okay terrain here insert import points from pipe Points from file you have P and Z D comma delimited before that you have to import that see automatically it has taken okay so one more thing I need to create this also just click OK okay point groups has been created okay so now you need to create a surface Okay, empty box type surface points okay. then okay so surface from points has been created in this there is no data so how we need to add for that click here right click add this all points have a look over the <coughs> surface type display triangles Let's see okay. similar type of pattern it is a uh, somewhat different okay because of magnum triangle length option we have given if we reduce it to 50 or like that no no if you increase then only it will come see increase right so like this maximum triangle length will make a better results okay option triangle 
us okay that's it guys this is the procedure so first thing in open roots we have to go to terrain additional methods ascii file and uh, we have to make so proper settings okay what is uh, easting what is not thing and you have to do for column wise okay then that setting file can be used for any type of data with a similar format okay and number of uh, notepads or excels okay so then in civil grid it is very easy insert import point data okay points from file and select and then select the related format okay predefined settings are there just click this and then okay, okay. after that you have to create a dummy surface okay in that you have to add the point groups okay that's it so terrain differences okay for that uh, i'm just uh, making the export okay land xml from the civil 3d okay just switch off all the unnecessary things then and uh, while exp importing land xml there is no need of any settings okay if csv data then only settings are required just give the feature definition existing boundary and uh, import terrain option only nothing just import okay, completed see how now you got this this is from the civil 3d terrain this is a uh, open roads terrain terrain open the terrain from csv data okay so now do that uh, delta option terrain model to terrain model click first terrain zero offset and then this one second terrain zero offset see this iso patch some feature definition let's give something like let me see and have a look like one minute better we need to do okay so if there is if a, is there any difference between the two terrains it will show some spikes but right now there is no spikes can you see elevation everywhere elevation is zero see slope also difference zero so it's uh, following the similar pattern okay okay that's it guys i hope that you like the video okay uh, please subscribe my channel for more interesting updates uh, thanks for watching